summoned with urgency. China's ambassador hauled into the Department of Foreign Affairs for a tense meeting with its secretary. Ambassador, is China being unfriendly to Australia? Leaving just 20 minutes later under dark grey skies. Ambassador, how is this not a barbaric sentence? The latest dispute, the fate of a prisoner. Today I come to you with the most harrowing news. Five years ago, pro-democracy advocate and Australian citizen Yang Hengjun was arrested in China and charged with spying. Now, after a closed trial and countless delays, a Beijing court has handed down a harsh verdict, which includes the smallest reprieve. In Beijing, Australian citizen Dr Yang Jun has received a suspended death sentence. We understand that this can be committed to a life sentence following two years. All over charges which the Australian government says are baseless. The news, a painful blow for the writer's family. Their spokesperson calling the sentence at the extreme end of worst expectations and saying they're shocked and devastated. The government is vowing it won't abandon Dr Jung. The Australian government is appalled at this outcome. We will be commuting, communicating our response in the strongest terms. But Dr Jung's friend, Fong Chong-yi, says it shows the limits of stabilisation with Beijing. It's morally indefensible position for Australia to put short-term commercial interest before the dignity, basic human rights, even the life of Australian citizen. It is a reminder of the risks that apply in doing business or engaging with China. Beijing not giving an inch. The People's Court heard the trial in strict accordance with the law and ensured its procedural rights. Analysts say this is one of the most severe sentences that China has ever imposed on a foreign citizen charged with espionage. It's a particularly bitter blow for Australia because Yang Hunjun is severely ill and his prospects in jail are not good. Whatever benefits and goodwill has been brought by the process of stabilisation don't seem to extend far enough to help him. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Canberra.